here also we will have to couple uh, uh, the copper electrode, the copper half cell with the which one? Reference electrode. What's that? Standard hydrogen electrode. Did you get me? So after you couple them, now a steady voltage. Steady means constant voltage of 0.34 volt is observed. Once you get a constant, you know, uh, voltage, uh, you see what happens well, right? You see, uh, 0 0.34, 0 0.34, 0 0.34 volt is equal to, it's a combined effect of uh, the oxidation electrode potential and the reduction electrode potential. But once again, how to know which of them is the oxidation electrode and which one is, uh, is the reduction half shell? Okay, so how to confirm? So after you get a steady voltage when you uh, titrated the hydrochloric acid solution inside this chamber in the standard hydrogen electrode, what happened? It was observed that the concentration H plus ions eh, was greater than your the previous one molar concentration. Okay, since H plus ion concentration is greater than one molar, are you getting that? So now we are uh, that previously we have taken only one molar concentration of hydrochloric acid. But it is now greater than the uh, greater than uh, the, 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 than that of taken already. So it is clear that hydrogen ion is being produced. How is in the, uh, is being produced? Because the hydrogen, you know, in a, uh, in in SHC, you are supplying what hydrogen gas at one atm. So that hydrogen gas is you now decomposing to give 2H plus ions and that hydrogen gas is giving you 2H plus plus 2E minus. In this manner, hydrogen is produced, hydrogen ions are produced and electrons are produced. If electrons are produced here, they flow, they flow through the wear and are received here. So how the electrons are received? The Cu2 plus ions present in this electrolytic solution, that Cu2 plus receive the electrons 2E minus, 2E give the copper and are deposited here. Did you get me? So, uh, the electrons are produced in SHG, flow through the wear and received in the copper chamber. So electrons are produced here, means this is the oxidation half cell, then this is the reduction half cell. Reduction takes place here and uh, uh, oxidation takes place here. So this steady voltage 0.34 volt should be equal to the oxidation electrode potential of SHG which is conventionally taken as 0 plus the reduction electrode potential of copper. Did you get me? We'll write down. So 0 0.34 volt is equal to oxidation electrode potential of anode. Here the anode is SHG where the oxidation takes plus the reduction electrode potential of cathode. Here the cathode where the reduction takes place is the proper half cell. Okay. So, or the copper electrode. Okay. So, we will write implies 0.34 volt is equal to conventionally taken as 0 plus the reduction electrode potential. Reduction Okay, since this is the standard electrode potential, standard cell potential, standard shell potential, we can write 0.34 volt standard 
since this is the standard shell potential is equal to 0.34 volts so we can write this standard shell potential uh, uh, implies this is the what E0 cell is equal to 0 0.34 volt conventionally this value is taken as 0 plus reduction standard reduction electrode potential of copper this should be written as Cu2 plus 2 Cu ok so implies E0 Cu2 plus Cu is equal to 0 0.34 volt Okay, thank you.